What is happening guys? Welcome back to another Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Today we are battling against my boy Chris aka Skyrander. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with this man. We've actually battled quite a few times in the past. Uh, we always end up having some pretty good ones, so I'm excited to see how this is going to go. Also, this will be the last battle, at least for a while, with this current team uh, that I've been using. I just haven't had time to uh, make any others, but I'm starting the process and this is going to go ahead and retire this team. So, uh, let's go ahead and just get it started. My boy Skyrander always brings some really interesting stuff, so this is definitely going to be a good match. Anyway, let's see what this man brought. Uh, he brought the Conkeldur. Okay. I have not played against any of those yet. He also has a Grim Snarl of his own. He has the Dracovish, which is extremely scary, along with the Rillaboom. He has the Galarian Rapidash, which <laughs> is funny. I haven't played against one of those either. And then he also has the Dragapult. So, quite the scary team. Um... The Dragapult is super scary. I kind of need to conserve my Grimmsnarl for that thing. I'm not really sure what he's going to want to lead off with here. It doesn't seem like he has too much of a dedicated lead. Um, also, the Dracovish is extremely scary. It's one of the hardest hitting mons in the game. He's also got that... Oh, man. This is this is going to be an interesting one. Let's, let's go ahead and see. So, I'm not really sure what he's going to want to lead off with. I think I might just go with Barney. Uh, we can get a nice little Specs Volt switch off. Uh, it doesn't look like he has much to block that. It's going to be able to do a lot to whatever he has. So... Um, the worst case scenario there, you know, I think we're actually, I'm HP invested along with special attack, so we should be bulky enough to try to take something. I want to try to get a Volt Switch going, so let's see if we can get our boy Toxtricity uh, to get something happening. I did switch that thing with the Dragapult. Uh, Dragapult was initially supposed to be on this team, but I switched it up. Also, we did actually do a battle before this, and it turned out to be kind of an anticlimactic one. I got an easy Grimmsnarl sweep. Uh, so we're hopping into another one. So this man, he's familiar with the squad, which I'm sure most people are if you've seen the videos, so. The element of surprise is not much there. But he's going to lead off with the tax pair, which is just the Rillaboom. Um, this thing is interesting. I'm not really sure what these things do, to be honest. Um, I think we do have a decent matchup here. I'm just going to go ahead and click Volt Switch. I could actually go for the Sludge Wave. But... Now you know what? We're just going to go right for the Sludge Wave. Let's get some Specs damage right from the start. I don't really know what this Rillaboom is going to want to do. Do these things carry... Do these things Earthquake? Honestly, they might Earthquake. And if it does, we're going to have a bad time. Um, so Rillaboom... It's likely going to have Earthquake. Which is not the best for us. So maybe I should actually just switch out here. Because we, we cannot take an Earthquake. Um, this thing ha does have really low speed though. So maybe... I need to. I really need to start learning my damn speed tiers in this, in this generation, which is something that I haven't invested much time into. Uh, but we're actually going to be slower. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and expect this thing to earthquake, and we have to switch ourselves out of here. And it's not very good for us because we really don't have much to bring in here. And I'm going to bring in Ditto. We got really right down to the move timer there. We're going to go into Ditto just because if he does earthquake, we'll be able to take that nicely. I'll also be able to scout out this thing set as well, which is super important. So we're going to Imposter. We turn into you. And he is just going to go right for the Earthquake. So he was going to be able to go first. Uh, luckily, we did not have to take that with Toxtricity. So we can see what this thing's working with. We have Woodhammer, Knockoff, Earthquake, and U-Turn. Uh, I think I might just go for... I'm going to go for a Knockoff. I want to get this thing's item out of the way. Um, he could just U-Turn, though. You know what? If he U-Turns first, uh, it's going to be bad. Hmm. This actually... That looks like that might have been Choice Bandit damage. I think we might go for a U-turn of our own. We're going to be Choice Scarf, so we're going to go first. The bad part about when you U-turn first is that uh, the second U-turn user, user gets to be able to come in on a matchup. Uh, so he U-turns on whatever I decide to bring in, and then he can get a matchup accordingly. So he's actually going to switch out, so the U-turn did turn out to be a good play. Um, knockoff was tempting as he brings in... Ooh, man, the knockoff would have been fantastic, actually. He brings in the Dragapult. Luckily, though, we do a, get a U-turn off, um, get a little bit of damage there. And now we can bring in whatever we feel like against this thing. So, I think I'm probably just going to bring in the Snowfu. Uh, the Galarian Darmanitan. Might actually... I should probably save that. Let's actually... Let's go into Troll instead. We're going to bring in the Grimmsnarl. Um, his team doesn't really like Grimmsnarl too much, to be honest. It does great against the Dracovish. It does great against this thing. Conkeldur can't really come in. Uh, I think if we just click Spirit Break here, we have a pretty easy time. So, let's see what this thing wants to go for. There's nothing that... Dragapult can have that knocks us out. 
It's kind of the main reason why I initially put Grimmsnarl on this team, because the Drag Dragapults are freaking running everywhere. And it's a, it's a great answer to it. So we're just going to click Spirit Break. We're going to see what he wants to do. I'm assuming he's going to want to switch out. Uh, there's not really much this thing can do. He probably also actually has um, U-Turn. So he's going to be able to get a little bit of damage on us. Potentially. But he's thinking about it, because there's really not much that he can bring into a Grimmsnarl. He can't bring in his own Grimmsnarl, because we're just going right for the fairy move, which is super effective. Um, so, <laughs> Grimmsnarl versus Grimmsnarl is an interesting matchup. Uh, kind of just the faster one is able to come out on top, or if you're just more defensive. So he's actually going to switch out the Dragapult. I think is way too useful for him. Um, he is going to go right into his own. So, we got a Snarl v. Snarl matchup here. The Spirit Break... Um, is going to actually just be able to knock that thing out. So, down it goes, and Grimmsnarl yet again is giving this man nightmares. I was able to set up a bulk up on <laughs> a turn that he used Outrage on the last match, and it turned out to be just a really short one. So we decided to run it back, and now he gets a free switch. So, uh, he's going to bring in the Galarian Rapidash. So he was able to sack off his, and this allows him a free matchup. And we know that we do not want to stay in here. I think I might just bring in Emo. Or we could go into Barney. I really don't know what Galarian Rapidashes do, to be honest. These so these first Wi-Fi battles are honestly just kind of me learning the metagame as you guys are kind of watching. I really, I've played a bit on, on Showdown, but I don't really know what to expect from this thing too much. They do get access to, like, Psycho Cut. Um, so I don't really want to bring in Toxtricity. So let's actually just go into, let's go into Excadrill. We could potentially set up some Stealth Rock. Um, it's not really all that useful, so it's actually probably better for us to just Iron Head. But at least we'll be able to see what this Galarian Rapidash wants to do. Looking Young Toothpaste looking ass. Uh, he's actually just going to go for the high horsepower. So he makes a good play. Uh, that is going to knock us down to our Focus Sash. Goes for the ground move on the Excadrill. So great prediction there. And what is this thing's speed looking like? It's got 105 base speed. So that is actually pretty damn quick as it's going to be able to outspeed Excadrill. So unfortunately... There was not really a whole lot we could do at this point, and I kind of just have to stay here. We're going to click Iron Head, but it's more, yeah, it's looking like, yep, yeah, we're going to go down. So, the Glaring Rapidash gets one on us, and that is a bummer. We see the high horsepower, so we can't bring in Toxtricity, and uh, this thing with the Life Orb is going to be doing some damage. Shit. All right, well, we can't really bring in Troll because we don't want to take a Fairy move. Uh, we could potentially go into, yeah, let's just go right into Darmanitan. This thing... One of the best revenge killers in the game, aside from Ditto. Uh, Choice Scarf Darmanitan is able to outspeed here. And with our Gorilla Tactics ability, we should be able to get uh, a knockout here. We are just going to go ahead and click Ice School Crash, as that seems like that's the most useful. I might even have to Dynamax here. I think, actually, we just, let's just click Ice School Crash. I'm pretty sure that's going to knock this thing out. Galarian Rapidash is a little bit of, of a threat, but it doesn't have the best... And it's actually got decent physical defense. Maybe I might have to use a Galarian Rapidash, man. I'm about to be a brony up in here. So let's see what he wants to go for. That Rapidash is looking really great for his team at this point. We see it's Life Orb, uh, so we know it's not choiced. And I think the Rapidash is probably the biggest threat. So if we're able to knock that thing out, that will be very helpful. He is going to switch, and he's going to go into the... Gohan, which is going to be the Conkelder. So, Conkelder comes in. The reason why this thing is scary is because it, it can just mock punch us. We're at least able to see how much uh, this Ice School Crash is going to do. And hot damn, that does a lot. So, we don't really want to take a mock punch from this thing. And I think I'm probably going to bring in the Twizzler here. This is actually a different Scent of Scorch. I think let's, let's bring this thing in just because... If he mock punches, we'll be in a decent position. I think we could take another attack at that point. Yeah, we're going to bring in... We're gonna bring in the Santa Scorch, who is actually a uh, Gigantamax one. It said I was using the Dynamax one before, so I updated my Santa Scorch. So he's gonna go for the Mach Punch. Also, by the way, shout out to um, my boy Bish B Y S S H three on Twitter. He hooked it up with this thing. All right, so he does go for the Mach Punch. Uh, we're just gonna stay in here. I think I'm just gonna go for the Fire Lash. I think we should be safe to just go for the Fire Lash here. This man's got he's got five Mons left. Although it seems like we've got the momentum. Um, we're still, still could be in a scary spot, that Galarian Rapidash spooks me, man. Also, he's got that Rillaboom, he's got the Dracovish still, which is an extremely huge threat. Um, I would like to save, I would like to save Ditto for that. He's probably going to bring in that thing in now. 
Um, so, yep, he's going to actually go right into the uh, Dragapult. So, he gets an easy switch into the Dragapult. The Fire Lash um, is going to drop this thing's defense, which is kind of nice. But, I'm expecting him to go for a U-turn here. He knows that I have Troll, which is a great answer for this thing. So, I might even just stay in. And let's just go for another Fire Lash. I think that might not be... Or we could go for the Leech Life and try to get some health back. Thinking about what he might want to switch in. Uh, probably the Draco Volt, I'm assuming. Or even just the Galarian Rapidash. Let's go for a Leech Life here. Let's expect him to U-turn. He's gonna... He knows... Oh, he's gonna switch. So he's gonna expect the Fairy to come in. Gonna expect Troll. And now he's actually gonna bring in the Draco Vish. So we made the correct play there. Um, kind of. As Leech Life isn't going to be able to do too much. But we at least knocked this thing down to like half. Uh, which is great. So Draco Vish is such a threat. This thing is extremely scary. Uh, I don't really know. We could hit a Power Whip here. I think this thing might Dynamax, to be honest. If this Dracovish Dynamaxes, we're going to have a bad time. But the question is, can I live if I also Dynamax and go for a Power Whip? I think we're going to do that. I'm going to go for the Dynamax here. We're going to click Max Overgrowth and see if Senta Scorch can help us out here. We actually do have the cool new form now, so we're looking badass. And we're sitting out just to over 10 minutes in the battle time. So we're halfway through, and he's still got some threats. But this is a pretty offensive match, so hopefully we can get some stuff to happen. So we are going to turn extra long boy, and we get to see what this Dracovish wants to do. I'm assuming he might Dynamax himself, but we actually just go right for the max overgrowth. We outspeed, because Dracovish turns out to not be Choice Scarf. Honestly did not expect to outspeed. That is going to knock that thing out. So Dracovish goes down. We do also set up the grassy terrain. What is Dracovish's um, speed here? Hold up. thought this thing was a little bit quicker. Uh, it's in at 75 base speed, whereas Senta Scorch, this is an adamant one. We have 65, so that thing must not have just had any speed investment. It probably was bulky, I'm assuming, uh, which really helped us out there. It was, yeah, it was probably a bulky set. So the max overgrowth is able to help us out, and now we have a very large Senta Scorch, uh, who is sitting pretty nicely because... We got full health. So, he's got the Conkeller, the Rillaboom, Galarian Rapidash, and the Dragapult left. And it's... We've kind of got ourselves in a great position here. That Dracovish uh, kind of helped us out there. I'm really glad that I just decided to Dynamax and not just go for the Power Whip. Because I probably would have missed that because Power Whip never freaking hits. But we seem to be in a pretty decent spot here. Not sure what he's really going to want to bring in. Probably the Dragapult as uh, it is going to be that thing. So, this is a little bit of a threat because... I mean, we actually probably would be okay. I don't think we can... We probably can knock this thing out, actually. Let's go for the Santiferno. And let's see. So, he's going to go first. He goes for the Shadow Ball. And that does not even knock us down very much at all. Look at that. Dynamax Santa Scorch is still taking names out here. Unfortunately, we're not quite able to knock out the Dragapult, though. And he does get some health back from the the grassy terrain, as we do as well. So this thing, we know it can really only just... Um, it can really only Shadow Ball here. It does get knocked down by the G-Max Inferno, but we can actually just go for the Max Guard here. If we Max Guard, um, we're able to block an attack, and then it dies to, to the next Fire Spin, which is amazing. That is a secondary effect of um, Senta Scorch. He's able to... Um, get up the fire spin as you use the fire move so he actually gets health back from the terrain as well I kind of thought that would have happened first but the fire spin is gonna do it and look at that Senta Scorch is insane I love this thing was so we're able to take out the Dragapult which is a huge threat nice so all he's got left is the Conkelder the Rillaboom and the Galar Rapidash so we do get small after this next turn but it's looking like I was able to use my Gigantamax correctly, so. Let's see what he's going to want to do here. Uh, the Galar Rapidash, I don't think this thing is definitely going to be able to be faster. But I don't think it can one-hit KO us, to be honest. Uh, it's got the high horsepower. Other than that, it really doesn't have doesn't have much for us. So he is going to bring in the Rapidash. And uh, yeah, we're going to actually go ahead and shrink back to normal size. So, kind of a bummer. But I think we'll be all right here. I'm just gonna stay in, and let's just click. Let's just click Fire Lash. We'll able. We'll be able to get some damage off on this thing. We'll kind of see what 
young toothpaste Taurus wants to go for. So he just goes for the Zen headbutt. And we are able to live it. Twizzler Jr., an absolute threat, but we get flinched. <laughs> oh no. The flinch was absolutely worst case scenario there. Wow. Well. So that sucks. But now we just click Fire Lash. Uh, Center Scorch was able to help us out quite a bit. But he's going to go for another Zen headbutt and knock us out. Man, we are bulky enough to live that, surprisingly. Damn you, Galarapidash. You hate to see it. So he's still getting some health back from the grassy terrain, which is a bummer. <laughs> it goes away now. All right. So now we get a free switch into whatever we like. Uh, I'm thinking it's likely just going to have to be Snowfu. Um, there's really not much he can bring into this thing. So let's bring in the Galarian Darmanitan. And uh, basically just click Icicle Crash and hope we don't miss. I think it should kill here. It would be very nice. If he still has his Dynamax though. Oh no, this is not good. He still got his Dynamax. So this thing's going to get huge here. And I might have to use my Ditto on this thing. This could be bad. Well, we are going to click Icicle Crash here as it's just basically our highest damage output. Would not be surprised if he just Dynamaxes here. Um, because I think that should allow him to live in Icicle Crash. I haven't ran any damage cocks or anything, but I am interested to see how it's going to play out. All he has left is the Conkelder, the Rillaboom, and the Galarapidash. So, Darmanitank takes care of the Rillaboom easily. But it's coming down to the point where I don't know if I've got enough for this. So this could be this could be close. Let's hope that we can get this match done before the timer goes away, though. So he's actually going to switch. He's going to save the Rapidash. Uh, he's going to switch into uh, the Gohan. So he brings back in the Conkelder. And the reason for that, I'm actually not really sure why he decided to switch out there. Because that's easily going to knock this thing out. I thought he would have wanted to save the Conkelder just to be able to get a Mach Punch later. But... That thing's going to go down. So he's got the Rillaboom and the Galarapidash left. He's going to bring back in the, the Rillaboom. Um, this thing probably is Focus Sash at this point. Would not be surprised if this thing was Focus Sash. Let's, um... Not sure what this thing's going to want to do here. We could go into Troll. I think he's probably not a bad option. If we could break this thing's Focus Sash, the only reason why he would bring this thing in is if it was Sashed. Because he knows that an Icicle Crash should just be able to knock this thing out. So we're going to play it safe here. We're going to switch into Troll. We just have this... Have this thing chilling in the back. Um, so he is actually going to get large on us here. Okay, so maybe he, maybe he's not Sash. Maybe he just expected to be able to live with the addition of the new HP to the Dynamax. So, all right. He gets big on us. Got his crazy-ass drums. This man is scary. All right. What is he going to click here? Going to go for the max overgrowth. So that's going to hurt quite a bit. Yep. We are able to live it, though. Which is not too bad. And it does set up the grassy terrain again. So we're getting right down to the timer here, which is unfortunate. But it is time to essentially just click Sucker Punch. We can get some damage on this thing. We're going to hope that it attacks. Uh, there's really no reason not to attack at this point. Because the timer is really kind of gonna be the death of us here we do get the sucker punch off so we're able to do a lot of damage with that look at that sucker punch that is insane so much damage and the max overgrowth is going to knock out troll so we are down to three and he's gonna get some health back from the dam okay we have to go into snowfu here and we have to click ice school crash and hope that that's gonna be enough i really don't know if gigantamax rillaboom He's going to be able to take this. I really, I really don't know. We're just going to click Icicle Crash. Really nothing else for us to do. We do connect. And luckily, it is able to take care of the Rillaboom. So, Galarian Darmanitan is an absolute lifesaver. This thing, it has saved me in so many battles. Honestly, it is super OP. Galarian Darmanitan should not be, should not be here. We have three minutes left in the battle. All he has left is the Galarian Rapidash. And it's looking like we can just go ahead and... Click the Icicle Crash here with no problem. So, the Dynamax that on that Rillaboom was a little bit scary. But in the end, it seems like Darmanitan, yet again, he's going to save my ass. So, here comes the Icicle Crash. That Gorilla Tactics gives us a built in choice band, and it's going to be a dead pony. So, my little pony is gone, and we were able to finish the match before the timer ran out, which is super lucky. So, that was a close one.
but Galarian Darmanitan is extremely OP, and I've had I've had fun with this team. Honestly, I really do like it. Uh, at the beginning of generations, it's always fun to kind of figure out what <laughs> the extremely OP things are. We're able to exploit our boy Galarian Darmanitan. Well, that is going to be the end of the match, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I understand that these battles are a little bit longer because they do have to be live, but I think it, it adds a little bit in terms of uh, being able to kind of see the thought process and all that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Skyrender, for the battle. Uh, that was definitely a much better one. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.